Hey YouTube, this is Mystic Virgo 4444. I want to do a collective reading today just to see what's, what energies are in the air. Right now I'm in a hotel room. I'm trying to do this kind of quick because I'm on a trip for business and I looks like I'm they paired me up with somebody from another part of the company. So I'm going to try to do a quick reading before this person gets here. And I don't know how they'll feel about the tarot if they see me doing it. I don't want them to be uncomfortable, so I'm just going to shuffle the cards and see what I can come up with. Seeing what's in the app with this collective reading today is June the 25th. If you all resonate with my readings, go ahead and like, subscribe, and, uh, and share. I am going to, uh, once again, see what is in the energy or what is in the air today. I'm going to shuffle a little bit longer. Um, I don't know if you all liked my other videos or watched the other videos. I've been posting now for almost two weeks, and I really do appreciate, I think I have like 30, 38 subscribers. I really appreciate you all for uh, having the faith in me and for liking my channel and subscribing. I thank you very, very much for that. Thank you so very much. That gives me uh, hope that I can actually do this. So I'm going to do this for as long as I can. And for as long as I feel the need to. Okay. So what is in the air for the collective? What is in the air for the collective? Got something in my eyes. Okay. I have here the death card. Looks like there's going to be some changes. The page of wands. Maybe some kind of, of, of offer. The emperor. Somebody important has a, um, does someone important has an offer for you or do you have a, I have a death card. I'm sorry, the devil card. Is anybody uh, wanting to do something? I want to offer you something here. Maybe some sneaky stuff. They were holding on to something. Maybe they were holding on to their feelings. And the overall energy here is the ace of pentacles. Yeah. Uh, maybe they're wanting to offer, um. Some changes. I see some changes. I think this may be a little love reading, so I'm going to use my romance angels and see what I can delve into for you all today. Um, looks like there's some kind of change, some kind of offer. Uh, this person could be male or female, or, or female. Take it how it resonates. Someone wants to tell you something. Um, they've been thinking about maybe a relationship, thinking about how they feel about you. They've really been holding on to something. And um, maybe they maybe there was some kind of sneakiness going on around or maybe you thought some sneaky stuff was going on. I have the Herophant here and I have the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, maybe there's a Virgo, um, a Sagittarius here. Uh, there's a death. Some kind of, of change is coming. It doesn't have to always mean a literal death. Um, there's some kind of, of, of change. I want to say it feels like a forced change. Maybe this person here who's the emperor had some kind of, 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 of apology that they want to make or some kind of declaration. They've been holding on to what they wanted to say for a while now, but um, they haven't felt comfortable enough. He or she hasn't felt comfortable enough to come to you to say what they needed to say. And, and, and they think, that possibly you think that they are sneaky or that they're maybe doing something wrong or something, but I don't think they are. Maybe they just, there seems like it appears that they're sneaky because they're holding on to their feelings. That's what, that's what all of this is about. What are they holding on to? What are this, this is, what is this person, male or female, uh, holding on to? And this could go either for male or female, so take it how it resonates, okay? I have two cards here. I have give your relationship a chance and healing family issues. So this person probably uh, has been through a lot in their life. Uh, maybe it's with family, friends, maybe a past marriage, because I have the Harrowfin card here. Uh, maybe they didn't. Uh, expect to feel what they were feeling for you or whatever, but they want to offer you something. They maybe want to offer you an apology, offer you an ex or offer you an explanation why they were feeling the way they were. I want to clarify this for let's clarify this four pentacles. Clarify the four pentacles here. Why did, is this person holding on to their feelings, male or female? Why are they holding on to their feelings? Why are they holding on to that feelings here. I mean, he, he, this person here, 
looks very, very sad in the face. Look how sad that person looks. Very, very sad. Like they're holding on to it. They want to say, but they don't. It's like, if I say something, I don't know how this person will take it. I don't know if they will be upset with me. I, maybe I'm making a mistake. I just don't know what they just, this, this person just doesn't know what to do. And they really want to offer their feelings. They want to tell you how they feel about you. They really do. Um, but they're, they're, it's like they're stuck and, and they're, they're wondering, but they're coming in between. Should I, or should not, should I, or shouldn't I? And I have here King of Swords and that they want to, they want to cut out of being so, um, I, I want to say they're shy. They're, they're probably very um, selfish a little bit with their feelings, but they're also very closed in. They don't, they, they are the kind of person that don't share their feelings with anybody, let alone somebody they care about. There's something else about them too. They're very um, maybe focused on, on their, 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 their uh, career or focused on their family possibly because they are, they are, maybe they're healing some family issues. But the thing about it, I think that I see here now is <clears throat> this person, male or female, is probably, probably wants to give the relationship a chance. That's what I'm looking at here. But they probably want to talk to you and tell you how they really, really feel about you. And this is something that they've probably never done before. They want to offer you their heart, their soul. They want to transform in front of you and tell you how they feel. Uh, they may have said very little to you in the past. I, yeah, I care about you. I got feelings for you. Uh, what more do you want me to say? <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. But this this person really wants to tell you how they feel about you. They want to spill the beans. They definitely want to cut out their ego and their pride and tell you how they feel about you. Um, yeah, they definitely want to. They don't want you to, to think of them in a negative way. They're not being sneaky. They are just being cautious with their feelings. That's where that is coming from. And they've been hurt before in the past, in their, in their, in their past relationships, maybe family, maybe they were married, engaged, or however the situation where they've been hurt before and they don't want to be hurt again. So I think that's why they are so hesitant on telling you how they feel. And, and they want this. They want the Ten of Cups. But they have so much burden behind what they've been through in their life before. But they're going to come to you and they're going to talk to you. They're going to tell you how they feel. They're going to tell you what took them so long to get to the point to where they wanted to spill their beans and tell you how they feel about you. They're going to come out of it. You just have to give them time. It'll be in their own timing, not yours. You may want them to come um, full speed ahead and tell you how they feel. But you have to wait and let them come to you. Don't badger them. Don't rush them. Let them come. Let them come to you. And I think I want to title that, that let, let them come to you. So I'm going to write, let them come to you so I won't forget. Let them come to you. Okay. So we're going to title that as being let them come to you. Uh, I think my roommate is here, y'all. I hope not. I don't want her to be uncomfortable. Okay. So this guy has to have strength. Um, he will have strength or she will have strength. However, however, this resonates with you. They're, they're, they're building up their courage. They're, they're building up their strength to come to you and tell you how they feel. But they'll come, they'll come when they're ready. Not when you're ready. It'll, it'll be when they are ready for this. Um, and they're going to offer. It may be, it may be an offer. They may say something like, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, I want to tell you that. I'm sorry. I know I haven't been around in a while or I know I possibly ended things with you. I know things probably have been slow with us, but um, I want you to know that I dig the shit out of you. I really, really care about you. I know I'm, I haven't always told you how I felt, but this time I'm ready, I'm ready to tell you how I feel. All I need for you to do is sit down and listen. Don't talk. Just listen. I want to spill my guts. I want to tell you how I feel. So when this person comes to you, ladies, Oh, when this lady comes to you, man, gentlemen, listen, let them talk. Don't say anything. Just let them get it out, out in the open and, and let them tell you how they feel about you because you've already told them how you feel about them. You've given your heart and soul to this person. Let this person do the same to you. Let them come to you and air out their, their heart. They're going to take that leap of faith big time, but you got to you gotta let them do this on their own accord. Let it just let it happen. Let it happen. OK, you may have thought that they were sneaking around doing some some dirty, some dirty stuff, doing some dirt, but they weren't. 
possibly, but they weren't. At least what I'm looking at now, they weren't probably. But anyway, we'll never know. But for the most part, let them come to you. They, they probably have this here could mean partying, drinking, having a good time, partying, maybe having more partners, but it could also mean just going out, hanging out and having a little fun. This is probably what this person was doing, just going out, having a little fun. And, and they were all, all the time they were thinking about you, but also thinking about what they've been going, what they've been through in their past. So don't just think it has a lot to do with them sleeping around. No, they're sneaking. Is probably, you probably thought that they were sneaking around, but they were trying to go out, clearing their head, trying to figure out how they were going to communicate their love for you. And that's all that was about. They think that you are the cat's, the cat's pajamas, the best things since, since running water. They love you. They care about you. They think very, very highly of you. And they tell their family and friends, I think very highly of her or, or the man or the woman will say, yeah, that, that's my dude. You know, you know, I, I, he's just something about him that's very, very special. He stands out to me more than anybody else who I've ever dated. So they think very highly of you. They talk they talk about you so they can't talk about you anymore. They care about you. They love you. Know that. Know this. And they probably will tell you that they're juggling their heart of what they've been through in their past. They are juggling how they feel inside. They don't want to be hurt anymore. And they, they think that if they tell you how they feel, how they feel about you, that you are going to hurt them. Assure them that you're not going to hurt them. Tell them you're going to always be there for them. You're going to always love and respect yourself and them. Let them know that you aren't going to do anything to hurt them intentionally. Okay. That's what they're worried about. So they're going to come out of it. Okay. They're going to come out of a lot of confusion, mess, arguing and fussing and fighting. They don't have to do this with you. You all have already have a good relationship. You all know each other well enough to know that you can sit down like two adults and talk about it. Let this person tell you how he feels or how she feels without interruption, no interruptions, no fighting. They don't need this right now. They need to be able to feel that they need to have the strength to come out of this, to come out of their own fear and communicate with you. Let them talk. Don't say anything. Let them talk and then talk. When, they, when they're done, then you say what you need to say because they're going to balance out this relationship. They're going to balance this out and it's going to be very, very strong. Okay. So let this person say what he, what he needs to say. Let him, let him or her do what they need to do because they already know that if they don't, if they don't hit that gavel and do what they need to do, and make sure they pull you back into their heart. They're, they're afraid that somebody else is going to take you. Let them. Let this judgment happen. Let this judgment take place. Relax. Let them do what they need to do to say what they need to say to you. Okay? Because they're coming big and strong, healthy and happy. They are coming full speed ahead. And, and they've been thinking about it. What am I going to say to her? What am I going to say to him? How am I going to say it? Are they going to diss me? Are they, are they going to tell me to get out of their lives? I haven't dealt with them in a while. What is she going to say? What is he going to do? I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. Let that person say what they need to say. Or how, take it how it resonates. If this is you that's needing to make that apology, that needs to come clean about your feeling, relax. You can do it. Come out of your own self. Come out of your own fright. <laughs> so you come on out of there and go ahead and walk towards your man or walk toward, towards your woman. It's on. Let go. Let the ego go and do what you need to do for yourself. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Hakuna, Hakuna Matata. Yeah, it's a wonderful phrase. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Mm -hmm. Um, and take that leap of faith. I can't wait for the new Lion King movie to come out. Okay, so come out of your come out of your ego and out of your your past hurts and pains or vice versa, and go ahead and march on over to your love. It's coming. It's on. They're gonna come and apologize and tell you how they feel about you. Okay. Yep. Look. <laughs> They're coming to tell you how they feel about you. You are their ace. Cool. Boom. They love you. They care about you. They think about you. Okay? They love them from you. Yes, they do. It means no worries for the rest of your days. So, Hakuna Matata, say that to yourself over and over again. It is safe for you to love. They already know that it's safe for them to love. They're going to stop being so mean, so looking mean in the face. Because they don't know what they're going to do. They know what to do. They're going to come back for their love. That old Lou Rawl song, Lady Love. Yep. They're going back for their lady love. Okay. So they're coming. They are coming. 
Yep, they're coming back and they're going to express their love to you and you need to express your love to them because you know you love them. Don't play. They love you too. And keep an open mind because this person probably took you by surprise. They were probably different than anybody you've ever been with before in your life, but that's okay because y'all clicked. Y'all had this special click about y'all. But you learn how you have to forgive this person for, for walking away or for, for putting the relationship on hold. And they have to learn how to forgive themselves because everybody's not going to hurt them like they got hurt. Okay? You're not going to hurt them like that past person did. And you have to make sure you reassure them of that. Don't just say it. Show them. It's like, I can show you better than I can tell you kind of thing. Yeah, do it that way. Show them that you won't hurt them. Not intentionally anyway. Okay? And this one here, finances and career. Maybe they felt that they couldn't provide for you the way they wanted to. And maybe that's why they put the relationship on halt or walked away or were slow to, to, uh, or were slow to, um, to, to respond in a relationship because they didn't feel that they had enough funds to take care of you. Or they, maybe they didn't feel like, like they were good enough for you. How about that? Have you ever told, anybody ever told you that you weren't, that they feel like they weren't good enough for you? Maybe. You want you separated right now. You're separated by now, right now by pride and ego, pride and prejudice. Take your pick. So this is why you all are separated because somebody couldn't separate their pride. But you all are very attracted to each other. Even when you see each other now, like, damn, I like, I love this dude. Oh man, I love that lady. I want that lady back in my life like pronto because I don't want anybody else to have my treasure. That's what it is. That's what it is. They don't want anybody else to have you. Because look, somebody else get you, they'll cut them. Look at them. I don't want nobody else to have mine. I'm going to cut that person. Let me go get my woman back. Mm -hmm. Or let me go get my man back. Pick your sides. And if this doesn't resonate with you all, go ahead and um, take what you need and leave the rest. Or maybe pass the video on to somebody you know. Maybe they will resonate with this. But I said earlier in the video, I thank you all for subscribing and, and liking my channel for the 38 or 39 people who have already done so. If you haven't, please like, subscribe, and pass my channel on. It's growing. It's getting better. So it, it can only go better from here. So here's an, uh, a codependency card. Maybe this person felt that that they were going to, that they needed to watch you all the time or call you all the time or do check up on you or check up on, checks up, check up, check ups on you all the time. Or maybe they, they felt the other way around. They didn't want, but they didn't want you chasing them around, calling them, uh, texting them and everything like that. Relax, calm down, let the relationship flow. Okay. Let the relationship flow naturally. I haven't seen the let go of control issues, but yeah, you don't need to be, uh, controlling in this relationship this should be a 50 50 relationship everything should flow right into place there shouldn't be any rush actions or any pushing somebody against the wall for them to tell you how they feel and backing people in a corner no you don't do that you all share a very unique chemistry it's powerful you teach each other different things he listens to you you listen to listen to her and vice versa and yeah, both of you all deserve love. This person is going to tell you, I deserve you. I want you in my life because I love you. I want you to have my children. Or I want to have your children, whatever side. You make me happy. You make me shine. You make me you make me glow. I started to say something else. But anyway, you make me glow. I just love me some you. So you all love each other, you know? And you all have called in your soulmate after all of this time. This person is your soul, is your soulmate. They know it and you know it. That's why they're coming back for you. They're coming back for you. Why? Not only did you call in your soulmate, this person is, like I said, is definitely your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So it's like, get ready. This person is coming for you. This person is coming for you. Mufasa is coming for Nala. Mm-hmm. And this could be the one. We already know that this could be the one because this is your soulmate. So I'm going to end this, but I'm also going to say stay optimistic about your love life because this person is going to come back and get out of their fear. They're going to talk to you. They're going to spill their guts. Let them spill their guts. Let them say what they need to say to you because they're going to tell you that they love you. Okay, they're going to express their love to you despite the fact that they don't think that they could take care of you right now, but this is going to change. This is a fear for them, but let them express their love for you. They are beautifully, you two are beautifully connected. Let it happen. Okay. Let them come to you because they're going to come. Let them come to you. I hope you all enjoyed this reading. It was a, a, a quick reading because I don't want to make 
my uh, roommate nervous if, if she comes to the door and I have tarot cards all over the place. So you all have a good day and I will hopefully get to you again soon. Bye.